it started first with like, what would I want to see? I just want to see a bright, colorful, beautiful image of a woman that makes me feel beautiful and powerful. I love art shows, which is part of the reason why I wanted to move to Europe. I love it, but it's very rare that you walk around and like I see women that I feel represent me or imagery that I feel represent me. It leads me to want to be that for someone else, like a, a blueprint for someone else. To trust in themselves and bet on themselves and really step into your power and to your purpose. In the beginning of my journey, I was kind of trying to be like, oh no, like I just draw because I want to, or I just write because I need to. And then I learned that owning, that this is something that I want to do, this is something I want to be good at, and this is something that I want to influence people for the good. When I stepped into my power, I liberated them. When it's scary and it's new, I remember I was always like sending things to my friends, like, do you like this art? Do you like this? Da -da -da -da. And it started getting to the point where I knew like, maybe I just don't need to ask. Maybe I need to just look at something and trust myself and know when it's finished, know when the colors are right. And like, that's my job. Doing the book tour like myself and not waiting for someone to say that like, this book is good enough for you to go on tour, but really just saying like, I put my heart into this. So this is what you're gonna get. When you talk about black people in general, the art usually reflects the pain of the brutality of everything that has been overcome. I've just been really interested in empowering people through representation of what's on the other side of that. We are just as beautiful. We are just as powerful. We are just as capable. And when we think of what like fun films like Black Panther, let's say, have done for the community, like I'm sure there's a lot more young children of color that are like, oh, I can be a director. Oh, I can play in a versatile role. I've always paid attention to artists that tragically pass. We convince ourselves that our bad habits are how we thrive. You know, people, when we're sad and depressed, we say, it's okay because I create my best stuff when I'm depressed. And I always wonder like if that really calls on you to call yourself out, to make room for growth and for change? Or do we fear that without that, we won't be able to create anymore or people won't like the work that we create from our new healed versions of ourselves. That decision that like, I don't want anyone to expect sad art from me. I don't want that to be a recurring theme in my life. I wanted to live a brighter, lighter, happier life. I started asking myself if the art that I was creating was sustainable to that. Trust that like if you feel inclined to do something and it's coming from a pure place, it's probably because it's meant for you.